What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kabon Stunner. Coming to you today, I'm gonna do something different. Uh, so, got some more wire in finally, so I can uh, mod these controllers. And I've decided to go with the pink one. Um, a lot of people been asking me, you know, what I think about uh, doing all these different kinds of mods. And will I mod their controller? Um, before we get into the video, I want to say a couple things about that. Number one is that the controllers are for sale on my uh, website, GameLikeAStunner.com. You can go there. Um, and surprisingly, they are not cheap, uh, as a lot of people might think. Um, I, it takes a lot of time and precision to, to build these controllers. So, you know... Uh, I do want to get some compensation for it. Um, other than that, um, I will not be working on any used controllers for anybody because it's just too much of a liability for me. Um, I had a couple controllers come in that were really not all that great and in, in not all that great of a condition and I ended up having to, you know, spend a lot of time and I couldn't get what I needed to get done. So, I'm only going to be working on new controllers. That being said, in this video, I will be working on a used controller. Um, this is my pink controller that I'll be modding. And I will be replacing the D-pad and all four face buttons. And we're going with uh, money green. Um, what we're going to do different with this is, is we're going to make the whole controller a flashlight mod. Rather than an on-off switch. So, when you get hit or somebody hit or you hit somebody every button will light up that's the effect we want to achieve so uh, that being said uh, I'm gonna hop right in and do some work on it and you know we'll get to it so stand by as I take it apart then we'll break out the soldering iron um, I've got extended trigger grips on this one so the first thing I'm gonna do is pop these off uh, grab my go in here and make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Get in here and get all five screws. Um, I will tell people, you know, a few people have told me that they still want to try to do this on their own and I'm totally fine with them trying to, trying to do it on their own. Um, that's uh, some folks in the background, if y'all are wondering, playing that Michael Jackson game on the Kinects. So, no, I'm not having a thriller party. Uh, this controller already has a mod in it. Oh shit. Let's zoom out so y'all can see a little bit. Um, it's already got the, the, the one mod in it. Put all these screws together. And I'll show you what that mod is. It's the, the button. It's got the pink button mod. And it's the PS deal. I'm gonna leave that pink because it looks cool, but I'm gonna do all these other buttons hyper white so that it, they light up green, to accent the green. Um, so stand by, guys. Let me try to find the buttons, get the soldering iron out, and we'll go to work. The but the controller is open at this point. All right, guys. Look, um, I took the battery out. I found my LEDs that I'm going to use inside the controller. These are like tiny three millimeters. I normally use a five, but I'm using threes this time. Uh, and I'm going to hook it up and get this controller going. Uh, I'm going in and I'm going to uh, glue all of these LEDs down in the face somewhere as I go through the motions here. Yeah. Oh, got it loose. Now as you can look right here, this one's already got a five millimeter in there. And that five millimeter looks gigantic compared to that little three. But the threes are gonna go, and we're gonna have one in the D-pad, 
Uh, and then we're gonna do the analogs and all that good stuff to hook it up. Damn. What the fuck is this? Damn. Right. It's gonna look like that when it's finished. Kind of funky, pink and green. But that's what we're gonna go and see what it looks like when it's completely done. Oh. All right. Now that I'm doing my preliminary fits, that's cool. I right, figure out where I want to place these lights. That's the hardest part. Then while I'm in my face lights, I gotta cut out spot notches in the controller pod in order to place these lights. And it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Cause I don't wanna do it. I guess I could do it here. I'm just looking at something. Don't mind me. Trying to see if I see something different than I normally do. Uh, maybe I could do something like that. Hmm. I don't need that right now. I gotta decide what I wanna do. Let me figure out what I wanna do, guys, to make this work, and I'll be back. Alright, guys, so check it out. Um, if my camera will focus, you can see why I've notched out. A hole there, a hole there, a hole here, and right there. So that my lights will shine through uh, symmetrically. Um, I'm gonna glue them in, I'll show you what they look like when they're glued in. And we will be back. Alright guys, quick update. I've got LEDs in here. You really can't see them, but you can see the soldering points, the legs. Uh, got them in. I'm going to hook it up and we'll see what we got next. Alright guys, check it out. Uh, I got the positive wires connected in here. You can see right here. I'm going to do the negatives next and we'll be right on our way. Alright everybody, uh, check it out. I've got all of my positives taped up and then I've got all of my Damn, am I gonna focus? Here we go. All of my wires wired now, so I've got everything going. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to do some connections here in a minute, and we should have some fireworks, so stand by. Alright, guys, so check it out. Um, I got the controller back together. Uh, it took me a little while to mess with it. Got the pink lights, and hopefully, if it does what it's supposed to do with testing, I'll show you. But this is the world's first um, complete flashlight controller. Uh, it started off with a concept, now it's something that we should be using. So stand by, let me test it, and then if everything works, I'll show you too. I want to show you the controller. It's on and powered. We're getting ready to watch the Mortal Kombat. I want to let y'all get a get a, a shot of the controller and hit the light. Where there is smoke, there is fire. Let y'all see what what this controller does. Your smoke do something to me. It's like if you sit still on Mortal Kombat, they don't do nothing to you. <laughs> This is the world's first. I've never been doing flashlights for a minute now. But this is the first time I done did one that's the full face buttons of flashlights. And it's vibrating. There you have it. Uh, this one will be added to the store. It is. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, hit me up. I'm going to call this one the full flashlight. <laughs>